Time-lapse video of a glacier in Greenland moving and calving new icebergs into the sea. A new study based on warming that's already occurred paints a dire picture that melting ice from Greenland alone will cause sea levels to rise at least 27 centimeters, almost one foot over the next century. It's a steeper rise than other modeling, and the study concludes it's inevitable. This 27 centimeters is committed loss uh, based on today's climate. Unless we turn back the clock on climate, you know, we're on the hook for that. There's no going back. NASA is measuring the disappearance in Greenland of ice mass that's normally replaced. For thousands of years, ice sheets would melt and glaciers would slowly slide into the sea. But the ice was replenished by snowfall, maintaining a relative balance. Now, warmer water is one factor melting ice shelves more quickly, speeding up the flow of ice into the seas. NASA estimates Greenland has lost 279 billion tons of ice per year since 2002. It's hard to understate just how big and fast the sea level changes over the next century can be. Coastal regions around the world will be most affected by rising sea levels. Some research says the Vancouver area is vulnerable, notably Richmond and Delta, which are just above sea level. The Canadian Climate Institute says overall this country must do more. That means building new sea walls and hardening shorelines. Make sure that no new infrastructure and no new developments are built in areas that are going to be underwater in the future. Ottawa is expected to put forward a climate adaptation strategy this fall, and coastal flooding will be part of that. And that's going to cost us billions of dollars, and it's going to put lives at risk unless governments take much more aggressive policy action on climate adaptation. Virtually all the research concludes that sea levels are certain to rise, and Canada, with the longest coastline in the world, will have to prepare. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.